ripped seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> Freaking crazy guy. See what uh please enjoy your day. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, I shouldn't have a lot to say. Okay in the med bay? Yes. Morden would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh no. I just thought I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Hello, Commander. Okay. Go back down and, uh, Change over to the uh, different armor, my dragon armor. Maybe. Oh, uh, I'll think about something here. Oops. Whoops.
back up to the CIC I go. See how Joker's doing. Because his conversations have always been funny. So, bringing the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too, or the Borcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Yeah. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. <laughs> it is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefields of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warship. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Interesting conversation. Okay. Now we go goof off some more. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Nice. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. Interesting. I don't think he meant that literally, though. <laughs> 